we're live. Welcome, everybody, to No Dice Qualifications. Uh, this episode is titled Season Speedings, uh, because holiday themes? Sure, why not? I'm going to toss it across to Tyson, uh, who is our host, uh, and um, we can... Uh, do we want to do introductions real quick before we get started with that shit? Yeah, let's do introductions quick. Sure. Hey. I'm Tyson that she was talking about earlier. I'll be uh, trying to wrangle these herd of cats towards uh, some sort of a victory. We'll see. Uh, pass it over to Noir. Hey, hello, everybody. I'm Noir. You can find me on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube as the Noir. And you can find me on TikTok, Instagram, and SoundCloud as Noir Nigla. Um... Yeah, that's me. And Sim. Hello, hello. My name is Ryan, or Sim, whichever you prefer. You can find me on Twitter at the Simulacre, and usually I split my time between either here Critical Misses or Chromatic Chimera. Uh, then we'll move along to Nikki. Hey, I'm Nikki. I am Halfling underscore Nick on Twitter and um, Twitch and that's it. Um, I am a professional GM with um, Emerald City Game Masters Guild, and I'm a fifth grade teacher, which is why there are positive sayings right behind my head. Awesome. Uh, and Sphinx. In Sphinx. Also, Orion. <laughs> uh, you usually find me lurking in people's channels. Uh, and I'm Anita, our Panita or Critical Misses, because this is my channel. Um, yeah, so without further ado, we'll pass it over to Tyson, who will introduce the whole concept of what we're doing, which is a little bit different from how we've done things before. Okay. I'm sure that everybody out there is longtime viewers, but just in case there is somebody who's new, uh, this is not our normal thing that we do. Normally, we do a uh, wrestling league that is set in the year 1997. That's kind of a, let's say it's a little bit of a rip off of the WCW Nitro era. Um, this one is Glacier Championship Wrestling, and this is set in 1987. So uh, this is a one shot, and it's just set in this um, this league that's kind of based on Calgary's uh, famous Stampede Wrestling. Um, if you don't know what that was, uh, it's basically the, there was a territory system. Uh, this was a feeder system that kind of sent a lot of great talent uh, to Japan, to the U.S., um, run by Stu Hart, uh, the Hart family with, as you probably are aware of if you follow wrestling, Bret Hart, Owen Hart, uh, Jim Neidhart, uh, all that kind of crew. Um, so this is the GCW, which is based on that, and this is the year's final pay-per-view, which is Seasons Beatings. And this Seasons Beatings, there's a brand new event, which hasn't been seen before in all of the uh, the previous years. Um, so I'll get to pass it over to my compatriot over here, who's going to let you know what's up. And cost first costume change of the evening goes to Tyson. I was going to say, I didn't know it was this kind of stream. Hang on. Here we go. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's your old <laughs> pal, Hoagie Henson. Glad to see you all here on Glacier Championship Wrestling, the home for entertainment in Calgary. This year's season's beatings. This brand new inaugural event, the King of the North Pole Battle Royal. This is a 30-man over-the-top rope elimination event with wrestlers coming out every five minutes. Only one person, though, will be crowned this year's King of the North Pole and win $20,000 and this beautiful watch, uh, which is, yes, $15,639.11 US. Uh, let's get uh, it underway and let's head down to the ring to see our first competitor. So, before we got into this, people were chosen. Um, with who is going to enter first. Uh, player number one, I'll have you roll a dice and then tell us who's coming to the ring. That will be Axe Battle. 
uh, he stands about. Tell us about axe battle. He's he what stands about when, that, when the lights. Yeah. He stands about six foot two. Uh, his hair blonde about down to his shoulders. Um, he's got this makeup on his face, pure white, and then just like what looks to be like smears of red and black. And he comes out with this real oversized battle axe over his shoulder, because in case you didn't realize, his name is Axe Battle. The axe tells you everything you need to know. Um, And it's just real cheesy, like 80s metal music. Um, And he's wearing like, he's wearing trunks, but they're all like furry, like as if he were some sort of Viking. And his boots are also similarly furry. And uh, aside from that, he's he's got like bare chest and bare legs and stuff. And he just walks down to the to the ring and uh, make, makes like he's going to throw his axe into the crowd, but doesn't. And then just places it down under the ring and gets in. Fantastic. Uh, no, player number two will now roll their dice and... Tell me who's coming toward the ring. All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right, so coming to the ring, we have Machismo Guy Andy Primal. <laughs> so what happens when the lights go down is on the Titan Cup? Oh, <laughs> uh, just the words, oh, yup, comes up. <laughs> You see a guy with a bright yellow cowboy hat and like a like you know pretty big uh, leather jackets with fringes all over the sides going I'm gonna come down there and I'm gonna snap you like a tidy John it's kind of like a slim Jim but not quite and then he just kind of walks down oh uh, yeah tiny John <laughs> Slimothy James's brother. <laughs> He gets into the ring, uh, kind of shakes the sh- ropes a little bit, walks around, then he takes off his uh, giant 80s glasses that have oh yup on them, <laughs> throws them to the crowd. Everybody goes wild. <laughs> All right, these two titans of the ring look, are looking each other over, and it seems like neither wants to make the first move. But someone will. Uh, I would have both of you two uh, roll the test and dice and to see who wants to do a move to who. All right, we're rolling uh, D6s so here, right? Two D6s, yep. Two D6s. The classic two D6 formula. Yeah. Yep. Uh-huh. I knew I knew I was forgetting these, right? Now, All right. For, um, for those at home who don't know what's going to happen here, or maybe you don't know what's going to happen here either. I just rolled uh, up. Oh, go ahead. With the two, with the two D6s, um, what is going to happen is you get the first one to do your first move, but then you have to also uh, try against that opponent again to try and eliminate them. If you roll a 12, you can automatically eliminate that person. Now, as the person being eliminated, if you are, um, you have three interrupts that you can do that are spread out across all of your characters. Everybody's going to get six characters, so you uh, might want to use them wisely. So what do we got for numbers, fellas? Twelve. <laughs> I love you, Ryan. Twelve! <laughs> <laughs> well, and you, uh, you may make your move to eliminate if you so choose to. It's completely up to you. Um, Unless, Ryan, you also rolled a 12. Uh, no, I got a 10. Okay. Uh, well, oh, wow. uh, uh, I'm, a, I'm going to just immediately go into my finisher, uh, the primalizer. Uh, it's just it's just a modified DDT, so it's just boom, but you're not, you're not uh, eliminated. Just go for the pin. <laughs> no pin in this one. No pin. Yeah, you this gotta take you over the rope. rope to be eliminated. Uh, but 
you do have him on the ground, and that oh yeah, the crowd pops for it amazingly, <laughs> and uh, you kind of have some time here. You can choose to wait until the next. Uh, the heavy cream uh, rises to the zenith. <laughs> So, so, so are these, yeah, you can these keep, phrases aren't you trademarked. You can just say them. <laughs> I made my choice. <laughs> You're sure dead, buddy. You're sure dead. <laughs> okay, I guess we're going for the next move, but let's do it. <laughs> are we both rolling again then? Uh, I think so. Yeah, I got a nine. Rolling. That's correct. I also okay. got a nine. All right, so I okay. guess we're doing so, that. Uh, oh, go ahead. You guys can lock up and uh, do a little bit of a test of strength here. Um, just walk me through if you want to let uh, Ryan have a little offense or if you want to be just showing everybody that you're the strong man. Kind of you guys walk me through what you're going to do here. Mm, um, yeah, I'll do a test of strength where it's like we're like I'm leaning down on you. You're leaning down on me. That kind of deal. Then we can roll again. Sure. All right. Yeah, absolutely. Ted. I don't like you today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so remember, you've got five more characters. So if you get eliminated, <laughs> it's not the end of the world. Right? We could be back soon. Six. So. Okay. Uh, I'm okay. going to. So, Noah, what do you want to do? You can eliminate if you'd like. Yeah, I'm gonna. And Ryan, I, you you still do have those interruptions if you want to uh, uh, to save yourself. I don't know. X battle's kind of a jobber. It's it's kind of <laughs> all right. I'm gonna hit you with the uh, the Shawn Michaels. I'm sorry, and I love you. Then I'm gonna super kick you out the ring. <laughs> oh, oh, me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the crowd pops, and you're standing there alone, just basking in the adulation. Uh, player number three rolls and tells us he's coming towards the ring. I want you all to know that I just got a text from Jamie that says, oh, yep. <laughs> can, we, uh, can we get that hashtag trending? Can we get some oh, yups in the chat? <laughs> can we get some hashtag oh, yups in the chat? Can we get some oh, yups in the chat? If, if we raid after this, it needs to be the, the raid call. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next to get a piece of machismo guy Andy Bribel? <laughs> it's gonna be Candy Cane. Um, so I'm a little confused on this whole like roll the tree. Now I do this thing um, on the rules. Can you explain that to me? Okay, uh, so right now you're just picking from your list of names, unless you roll a one. If you Got roll it. a one, then you'll go into those alternate rules. Uh, I'll throw those rules so other people can see them in the chat too, so that everybody knows what's going on. Cool. All right. In that case, uh, Candy Cane enters the ring. She has on a patent leather red uh, unitard all the way down and white patent leather boots with platform heels on them. And she has on a um, red and white cap, you know, like the Santa Claus style hat, and she enters the ring. It's not going to be a Merry Christmas. Oh, <laughs> seasonal. I like ready. it. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's okay. bring it on, so Miss Kane. <laughs> I'll leave it right. up to you too. Ready? Oh, okay. Are we rolling now? Yeah, I Roll think we're just going in. Right? I'm dice. gonna snap you like a, a skinny tom or whatever. I'm I a candy before. cane. Why didn't you say snap me like a candy cane? Because I'm not smart. <laughs> I'm a cheese mode. <laughs> oh yup. Uh, I got a six. I got a nine. Shit. <laughs> oh, you got a nine. Perfect. Uh so you can do whatever sort of moves you think happen uh, to take advantage of this situation. You get the upper hand. <laughs> oh, no. no. Sorry. Oh, um, okay. Tyson, no. we have um, some new channel point rewards. One of them is a boon. 
which you as the GM, um, s someone has placed it in chat, um, looks like a Darby did, and uh, Nikki has been granted a boon. Um, you as the GM get to choose what that boon is and how it takes form, whether it's a reroll on a die that's unfortunate or that sort of thing. Your choice. Okay. Uh, I would give Nikki um, one more interruption. Uh, so you have four interruptions other than the normal three. So if you're about to be eliminated, you could use one of those interruptions, uh, which saves you from being thrown out. All right. So um, with that nine, Candy Cane is going to do the stocking stuffer. So <laughs> she is going to um, take, uh, who's our OE up friend's name? I already forgot your name. Uh, my name is Machismo Guy Andy Primal. <laughs> she's going to take Andy Primal's shoulders. And in a downward motion, she's going to knee him in the stomach and pull him down so he falls Ooh. onto his head. <laughs> like she's stuck, stuffing a stock next to her. <laughs> a just brutal maneuver from Candy Kane. Oh. Taking Andy down. He is down, but is he out? I would have you two roll again, please. Now, Nikki, if you win this exchange, you can choose to eliminate Andy Primal. I just got an eight. I got a seven. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, okay. yeah. So the upper hand <laughs> turns back. <laughs> but just before you two are about to lock up, player number four will roll their dice and make their way down to the ring. Making their way to the ring is uh, sort of a, a dude with a big handlebar mustache and uh, kind of a, a knockoff Calgary Flames sweater. Uh, this is Slammy McDonald. <laughs> and He's the captain. Guy, yeah, the captain. <laughs> the captain of the, the local sports hockey's team uh, is gonna, is, uh, has a hockey stick. Ice hockey, yes. Yeah. Uh, before, the, before reaching the ring, the ref stops him. And says you can't bring that in there, and he'll th throw it off to a fan instead. And I'll hop into the ring. He's ready to go. Fantastic. Uh, well, what's going to happen first is Andy is going to get his move in on uh, Candy Cane, but then Slammy's going to have a chance to attack either of these two, or perhaps help another person to eliminate another person. Uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit uh Candy Cade, uh with the oh yup uh it's it's uh it's a power up it's it's a it's a pop up power bomb mm -hmm. <laughs> so you know, Irish whip across the rope bring her up oh yup and then just bam slam <laughs> slam down on the ground uh and then I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna point at the hockey player <laughs> mm. uh, fantastic uh, yeah so uh, slammy. Slammy McDonald's gonna try and go for a uh, for a, uh, a crossbody. Okay, against, I'll have you guys roll at each other against the machismo guy. Uh, six. Ha <laughs> ha, that's a four. Yes. Oh, I mean, four. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say any version yup, of indeed. yes. Only yup. <laughs> Walk us through uh, what you do to this uh, professional ice hockey player. I just no sell the shit out of that crossbody. <laughs> like you come, you come slam nothing. Hits, man. Mm. And then I Fantastic. Flex. Yeah, and the crowd <laughs> pops for it. They're uh, they're they're loving it, and they it makes you look unstoppable. Um, Candy Kane, however, is able to get up off the map and can choose what she would like to do next. All right. Um, Candy Kane is going to go for an elf on the shelf. So she's going to climb up onto the ropes and then come down and try to do like a power drive right into our Andy Machismo friend. <laughs> Fantastic. Using his own bionic elbow against him. Uh, right. So I would have you two roll then, please. Andy versus Candy. That's a six. Let's see which one is Dandy. A five and a one. Five and a two, seven. Seven. Shit. <laughs> oh, fantastic. So that uh, elf on the shelf lands beautifully, uh, taking Andy down to the 
to the um, to the man, oh, no. uh, and <laughs> you stand atop, kind of cheering your way as player five rolls their dice and makes their way down to the ring. <laughs> okay, coming down to the ring is wait, was it? Slick Lance Coleman. He's a former boxer. <laughs> Imagine if Apollo Creed became a wrestler. <laughs> so there's, there's James nice. Brown. He's a guy as he dreadful. comes out to the ring <laughs> with the boxing gloves on, the the American flag boxes. <laughs> he's, just, he's just making his way down to the ring style. <laughs> but he Note can't that I believe we're in Canada. <laughs> Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so this is gonna get you a ton, ton of heel heat. Yeah, everybody's gonna be uh, booing pretty big. But yeah, hey man, sometimes you get the crowd, sometimes sometimes you don't. In this case, he's the form. So uh, as you enter the ring, as you enter the ring, you can choose um, who you'd like to attack, or if you'd like to help somebody with somebody else, to remove somebody else. It's completely up to you. Uh, in the case where um, several people want to help somebody eliminate someone, uh, it's just that everybody rolls contested die. And uh, if the team manages to roll higher than that person, they can get eliminated. I'm going to take the hockey coach. <laughs> okay, going after slamming. <laughs> So Slammy, roll go. it up. Let's see what goes on. USA! Class USA! Uh, six. Uh, ooh. Uh, that's an eight. That's an eight? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Tell us how you uh, turn the tide on this foreigner. Uh, so what ex What move were you going for? Uh, it was he, was just, he was just gonna come in swinging, like... Uh, uh, like a... I was yeah. gonna do. Uh, I was gonna do like the square up, like the the hockey, uh, like for a good hockey. Yeah, he's fight. just coming in with his yeah. hands up. Yeah, uh, and then boxing. I'm gonna do it. Uh, you're not wearing a shirt, is... right? No. Oh, damn it! I was gonna do a jersey pull. Anyways, uh, take your own shirt. <laughs> throw it on him. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do a. Uh, looks like we're about to get five for fighting, and I'm gonna just do a. Uh, a, a dodge and i'm just gonna do a uh hip check uh like i'm slamming him into the into the boards okay big body check into yeah, the turnbuckles big body check into the turnbuckles, uh fantastic so that's gonna give you the advantage right now what would you like to do to press um, the advantage do you uh, want to try the advantage? and uh, maybe I'm gonna... Hmm. yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna do tarps off and i'm gonna take the shirt and put it over top of his head and then i'm gonna try and Toss him over the top rope. That's my plan, at least. Tell him, him Slammy toss sent him over the rope. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> let's uh, let's, that is let's some roll. Niche Calgary uh, humor, Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> Eight. 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 Uh, also an eight. Okay. What do we do in the event? So you guys have also got an eight. So that's two. Um, so what I'm going to say is. If either of the two other people that are in the ring want to help eliminate one or the other of you, they can choose to do so now. Secrets out! Andy Primal's American! Get the Canadian out of here! <laughs> okay, so go ahead and roll. Yes, if you can same. roll a uh, 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 eight or a nine, um, or beat an eight. Or I rolled a nine, nine. baby! <laughs> Nine. So you guys, you guys team up. Tell me how you team up and force this uh, this young hockey upstart out of the ring. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lance just tries to clinch up to keep from being like tossed over the rope. <laughs> What's your character's name? Lance. I'm gonna be like Lance. Tear down this wall, and I'm gonna. <laughs> Andy spent some time in Soviet Russia. <laughs> Just like an American has no idea about geography no. whatsoever. No. 
I was upset by that five for fighting. I didn't get the reference. <laughs> it's more Can than I a pop band that wrote the song Superman. You're gonna use one of your interruptions here. Yes. Okay, tell us how. Tell us how you power out, Lanny. Uh, these they're two, gonna these try and two... put me over top of the top rope. I'm gonna just hold on to the rope yep. for dear life. Uh, and as they're both sort of like yep. jawing at each other and like you know looking at each other, it's gonna slide back under the bottom rope. <laughs> Fantastic. That's a nice that's a way to do it. Smart bud. way to do it for sure. Uh, well, you do. Uh, and then I'm gonna... While you're doing that, uh, yeah. I'm kind of sizing up. No, go ahead. What's your sizing up the Canadian crew there? Uh, Ryan is going to roll another dice and tell us who's coming in next. Woo! Okay. Um, so at this point, uh, you hear some, the strains of uh, Air on a G-Spring by Bach, just very like, you know, like uh, classical music and uh out comes Dandy Ronnie Robes. He is a he is a man who is very bulky, but with a very small head for some reason. <laughs> and uh, he is accompanied he's accompanied by his uh, by his manager uh, Darby Stippleman. Uh, and he as he starts to go towards the ring, he starts to take off these robes, and he's got like twenty of them on. And so that every time he removes robes, he gets like smaller and smaller. And he's actually like a pretty like wiry, skinny dude. Um, and he gets to the ring and instead of going into the ring, he just starts to walk around it like he doesn't want to get in the ring. <laughs> Fantastic. While you're kind of doing that pacing and not quite committing, Candy Kane gets a chance to uh, to to maybe level some of the competition out. Who would you uh, like to attack Candy Kane? Um, Candy is, hmm, she's going to go back after Andy Machismo. Yeah, yeah, they've, they've had quite the feud so far today. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> currently their back is turned, so what better time than now? Yep. All right. Uh, do I just name a new move or we roll in? Just go ahead and roll okay. and then tell me what happens when, uh, when we know. I rolled a nine, and yeah, she. Okay. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. She's gonna do the sleigh ride, <laughs> so she's okay. going to jump on um, Andy's back, and like grip his head, and like just grab and hold on, and like try to choke him out. Oh no! I mean, nope. Okay. Uh... <laughs> oh nope. Uh, Andy, did you roll lower than a nine? I rolled a four. <laughs> oh yeah, so this definitely works, and the crowd <laughs> enjoys watching you uh, running around the ring like some festive reindeer. Uh, yeah. So, Candy, how do you want to press the advantage here? Do you want to try and eliminate? Do you want to move on to a different opponent? What would you like to do? Oh, Andy Machismo is so funny. I don't want to do it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to eliminate him. Yeah, I'm mean, yeah. Okay. So she's just gonna continue with the uh, sleigh ride. She's going to just like try to take him down. Okay, take him down, get him up. It's an eight. I wrote an eleven. Oh. <laughs> eleven, eleven. So tell us how you broke that move of that person on your back. Oh well, after being guided like a like a goddamn blind reindeer. I run full steam ahead, backwards into the turnbuckle, and I slam Miss Candy Cane against the metal pipes. Oh, yup. <laughs> oh, yup, indeed. Uh, Ryan, I've forgotten your character's name. Has he entered the ring yet? No, he's still preening <laughs> around the ring. And he is, uh, he is Dandy, <laughs> Dandy Ronnie Robes. Dandy. <clears throat> Ronnie. At one point, he does get up Thank on like very much. he gets uh, up on the 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 ring apron and like wipes his feet a little bit. Like the apron, and, yeah. And then sees people like look at him, and he's just like, no. And he gets down off and starts going back around the ring, <laughs> like yelling at like Fantastic. crowd members, you know like you know, like uh, you can't get eliminated me. if you're not in the ring. Brilliant maneuver. 
Um, so then I'm going to say, uh, our boxer friend, Lance, um, you now have a chance to do something to someone. What would you like to do? Dandy, at the, oh. Lance is going to turn his attention to Danny at the, at the ringside because he thinks he eliminated the <laughs> Lenny. So he's just pointing at him, like trying to provoke him to come into the ring. And if that doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Okay, fantastic. Are you, are you, uh, you know, if he's outside of the ring, maybe you're going to try and. Yeah, if, if he Bring doesn't, if he doesn't respond friend. immediately, I'm just going to run out after him. <laughs> <laughs> About to chase him on the okay. ring. <laughs> I, I would let you. If you, uh, one thing if our viewers have never seen a, a battle royal before that they may not know is if you leave the ring under the rope, you are not eliminated. And so you could leave under the rope, go chase that guy and bring him in if you would like to. Yeah. <laughs> you freaking All right. Man. <laughs> All right, describe it to us. To tell us exactly how you do it. So yeah, if he doesn't respond to his, his provocation, he's just going to slide under the ring and start charging towards <laughs> Trying to grab him. All right, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, with Battle of the Minds, uh, kind of Speedy the Gonzalez, <laughs> Tom and Jerry kind of around the ring they go. Um, slammy, uh, you see this happening. You see these uh, these two, Andy and Candy. What would you like to do? Uh, I'm gonna try. Maybe it's time to make an alliance. Actually, I'm gonna look at Candy. Oh. I'm gonna make eye contact. Hi, how the turntables? And I think that we're both gonna try and eliminate Machismo guy. Oh Andy yup. Primal. Yup. 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 Okay. You're just switching into Daniel so Bryan now. The two of you are going. To... <laughs> <laughs> because the two of you are uh, going to be rolling um, uh, against, this is only a single time, so this this will eliminate if it works. Okay. So go ahead, uh, both of you roll, and That's Noir cool. roll as well, please. Hashtag Noir rolls. Really? Because Noir rolled another 12! Let's go! Dang, I rolled 11. <laughs> I rolled an eight. Wow. Yup. Wow. Yep. Uh, <laughs> we may be seeing, folks, we may be seeing a here <laughs> double elimination here from. Wait, is that Andy. how it works? Walk us through. All that happened? Trying to eliminate both. I'll let a double you... elimination. I'll let, a, I'll let it happen. I'll let Clay <laughs> get knocked they, out of they the boat. Ring. <laughs> like they both try to charge him and he just ducks and pulls down the rope so yeah. they fucking dive over. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Walk us through it, yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I think they both go to grab him and he ducks and their like arms are around the rope. And he just goes, Yup! And he grabs him, like one leg from both of them. And, and then just, just throws them over. Them over. <laughs> oh, and ceremoniously dumps both of them. Nice. Fantastic. Yeah, that's uh <laughs> <laughs> For those who have been counting, Andy is Andy in the man so far, Andy. eliminating with three eliminations so far to his name. I want to play uh, my uh, other character so much more than Andy. <laughs> <laughs> but Andy is undefeated uh, I would have, so far. Uh, yeah, Andy is undefeated. He's just he's just wiping the wiping That was the a bad joke with everybody. in the chat, Ryan. Um, Sim. You think he's looking at yeah. Nikki? Uh, I will have you yeah, roll and tell us who is entering now. Okay. Okay, so I did roll a one this time. Okay, so if you look at that chart um, yeah. of rules, then just roll, and then uh, from there, it'll tell you what you have to do, have to be. Okay. So what did you roll? Roll a four. You rolled a four. So if you scroll down to the four, um, you choose one of these animals from the list and incorporate their moves and their name into your list. So pick one from that list Kay. and add it to one of your already characters that you would want. Got it. Tell us who's coming down to the ring now. Coming to the ring is Holly Not Jolly. And she's got on um, a, 
uh, fur um, earmuffs, but they're shaped like bears. Oh no, Nick. Bears ears that are shaped like bears paws. And she, oh, kitty. And she's um, she's got on like a brown, like full body unitard. Um, and she's just like, Ugh. nice. She's definitely got the spirit of the bear within her. Uh, yeah. So Holly makes her way to the ring, slides under the rope. Uh, who do you want to focus on? Um, the two of you, have you baited it to the ring yet? The Ryans. Um, <laughs> uh, can we roll to see if he catches him? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Why not? Uh, 11. Uh, 11. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys keep running around the ring. <laughs> and to the crowd, this is hilarious. So you guys are getting over definitely with the crowd on this. We have to jump over yeah, the two totally. that just got Benny eliminated. Music starts playing. We have to vault over the two people that just got eliminated. <laughs> I'd like to think that they got yeah. thrown onto us. And so like that's why we, we, we just got <laughs> back up and started going again. Could be. Uh, Anita, I would have you roll to tell us who's coming to the ring. All right. Um, one, two, three. Uh, making their way to the ring. Uh, uh, is uh, Handsome Harriet Stampede Queen. Wow. Uh, Fantastic. Describe. A, uh, a woman in 80s style Western gear. Uh, so a, uh, a buckskin jacket with like the tassels uh, and like cowboy boots and, uh, and a white hat. Um, she's the valet for White Hat Willie, but has made her way to the ring. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we also have another boon in chat for Nikki, uh, again. Cause, okay, uh, well, Nikki gets another, another, <gasps> um, actually, Nikki gets her, uh, her next elimination free. Is what we will say. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and so she, and uh, she's just gonna run to the ring. Uh, she's got she's got a little lasso, and she's gonna throw up to the crowd. Fantastic. Uh, and she's coming in. And she's, coming in hot. she's both rooting and tooting. She's gonna put a hurt down on these fellas. And she, she uh, this. So you're in the ring. Nikki is in the ring. Uh, Andy is still somehow in the ring. Uh, the two gentlemen are chasing each other, uh, and maybe one of them will catch the other. Who knows? We've got all night here. Um, so we'll, I will give the... I'll give it to Nikki as the advantage right now. Is, uh, you're not the freshest competitor, but you're the second freshest. So go ahead. What would you like to do? He's going after um, Andy Machismo. And I'm going to go for that free elimination. <laughs> so she's going to be like, it's All right, fantastic. So just walk us through it. It's time for you to hibernate for winter. <laughs> she's going to just bounce on him. Oh, <laughs> no. And then just like, bump, like bash him. <laughs> with her oh, wow. Classic mauling. So you maul him to the ground and then throw his lifeless carcass over the top rope, eliminating him. Uh, so now in the ring, uh, I'll have the Ryan's roll to see if they've entered the ring yet. <laughs> oh, five, nine, um, nine. What, do you want to keep running or do you want to try and stop this guy? What, what I want to try to do is slide into the ring and, uh, like, tell me if this isn't cool, but slide into the ring and then. Uh, try to attack uh, Lance as he gets up onto the ropes, like gets up onto the apron to try to like. Absolutely. You could, you could totally do that. So you slide in, he pops up looking for you. You come back and knock him out. Uh, so he's still outside of the ring. Now you are currently inside the ring and 
able he's... to get eliminated. Uh, Lance is outside of the ring, but because he didn't go over the top rope, he's not eliminated. So keep that in your mind, please, Lance. Uh, and then I would have uh, our second most, or our, our freshest competitor, uh, Nita, what was your name again? Uh, Handsome Harry, the Stampede Queen. Queen. Yes, Harriet. Uh, Harriet, what would you like to do? Um, so, uh, who we got in the ring right now? We've got, uh, oh, okay. Uh, ye, and I can't stress this enough, ha, and I'm going to try and do a, I'm going to do a running lariat, uh, clothesline to try and knock this, this schmuck down. Fantastic. By schmuck, yeah, I assume you mean dandy Ronnie Rhodes. Uh, dandy Ronnie Rhodes is going to get uh, his ass knocked out of the ring if I have anything to say with it about it. Uh, okay, that's good. That's good. We are both rolling for this, right? Yes. Okay, I got an eight. Yes, that's great. I got a nine. Ah. You got a nine. A nine does uh, give you the advantage. However, you... Um, so it wasn't close enough really to the ropes. He just gets knocked down move, to his, Unless uh, you roll, unless you roll again, and you win this time. Okay, let's try it again. One more. Okay. Oof. Ten. Seven. That's a no. And there's a Seven. bane in chat. So, so you uh, as the GM can also do an interruption now at this point. Or. Do something, uh, something a little different if you want to. Something underhanded, if you like. Maybe even. Uh, I'm not going to do anything crazily, um, crazily bad here. Uh, I'm just going to say that your lariat misses, and uh, you kind of flip over the top rope yourself, but manage to catch yourself there. You're currently standing, holding onto the rope on the outside, uh, but not eliminated mm -hmm. yet. Okay. Um, I'd like this to think would give our dandy friend a chance to eliminate if they wanted to. I would like to think the reason the lariat missed is because he saw uh, the Stampede Queen coming at him, and he just he drops to his knees, and he's like, "No, no!" But it goes right over his head as he drops to his knees. Nice, classic comedy. Wow, saved by cowardice. Classic. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'll try to eliminate the Stampede Queen. If that's a thing. Right. Yeah, go for it. Absolutely. Yeah, roll off again. Just roll. All right. Nine. Six. Uh, Six. Yeah. That is an elimination. Unless you want to use one of your... I've yeed my last haw. <laughs> and you have. Oh. You are now eliminated. <laughs> okay. Uh Nora, tell us who's coming down to the ring. Let's do it. I was gonna say he definitely slingshotted, like grabbed her. Still, and, like, oh, like, this down. is still not yes. who I want, but uh, stun gun. All right. Um. So the lights go out. I mean, there's just the sound of shooting. I mean, you see a gentleman come up with a uh, uh, in a suit that's made of the American flag. The tie is made of a weird flag, and he's got two cap guns, and he's just walking down the aisle. Bang, 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 bang. Uh, this is Gunther G. Gunhammer. Uh, and, he, and, he's, <laughs> and he's coming with a bang! So, <laughs> so, so he's wow. going to uh, shoot his cap guns, throw them into the crowd, and then slide in. Uh, it look, it looks to see uh, mm, who's, he's gonna, who's he gonna point out. He's going to point at no, not Dandy. He doesn't want it. Uh, who took out the cowboy? <laughs> oh, it's going to be... I'm so sorry. Hey. It's going after Dandy. <laughs> All right. Not, he definitely How dare you, in, before how you, dare you infringe on her right to bear arms? <laughs> And when he says that, he rips the <laughs> sleeves off of his suit. As soon as, as soon as he says bear arms, uh, Ronnie is going to point to the to the woman in a bear a bear outfit and just be like, no, nah, that one. 
He had the right to bear arms. <laughs> um, you know what? He's 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 dumb in America. He's gonna be slayed. He's gonna look at Nikki. Bear arms. <laughs> it's gonna attack. <laughs> All, right. All right. Let's see it. Here we go. A nine. Nine. Eight. 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 Uh, all right, I'm gonna hit you with Eight. the second amendment. Who <laughs> <laughs> hasn't heard that before? It's Your just, whole body it's is a well regulated a, militia. It, it's just an F you, but he salutes before two of us. It was just USA, USA, USA over the I drop body. Again, we're in Canada. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. It's getting heated like infrared up here. It's uh what was it? it's crazy. What was it? He and Lance are the same state. <laughs> they just take off the crowd. Hey, that that could be it. Uh, tag team Lance is still outside. Lance, do you wanna come back in now and maybe help your partner out? Yeah well while Dandy's distracted by what just happened, he, Lance is gonna come back into the ring and try to trip him up. Oh, fantastic. So, Lance and Dandy, let's see what happens. Oh, 11. Hi, I was muted. Oh, 7. 11. Walk us through what happens. He's, Dandy's distracted. Lance is just going to pull his legs <laughs> out from under him and just slide into the ring. Fantastic. How do you want to press your advantage? Or do you want to help uh, eliminate the bear lady with your partner? No, no, no he's focused on Danny. Right? <laughs> okay, yeah, he no, he's got a grudge. You don't chase a man around a ring for twenty-seven minutes and not have a grudge. So he, he's just gonna pick him up by the by the back of his and try just try to swing him around to throw him out. <laughs> Fantastic. Let's uh, let's have a roll, gentlemen. Uh, six. Six. Uh, so, neither of you can kind of get a footing on the other. Um, while this is happening, you guys are locked up. Uh, the two over there are uh, kind of preoccupied with each other. Uh, I'll have Anita roll and tell us who's coming down to the ring. Uh, already did. Uh, coming to the ring. Uh, seeking revenge for what happened to the valet is uh, White Hat Willie Howdy. <laughs> Same sort of buckskin uh, leather jacket, but it's a, uh, sorry, it's a buckskin vest, uh, no shirt underneath, uh, denim jeans, cowboy boots, and a white hat. Uh, Willie Howdy. See cousins Boy with uh, Willie do it? Yes, he will. Yes, he will. All right, fantastic. You uh, you slide into the ring uh, and look at this dandy gentleman who eliminated your valet. What would you like to do? All right. It's time for the Are you going to give ride. the American the... You, you're going to give the American the benefit of uh, helping Canadian hand or are you going to try and eliminate this guy all on your own? Uh, oh. oh. Oh, yeah, there, eh? Uh, does someone else want to help me out with this? You know what? No, yeah. I'm going to try and do it on my own. Let's try this. All right. Let's see it. Okay. That's a seven. Uh, we're going after Ryan. 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 Oh, okay. Which I, Ryan? I, I, I thought <laughs> I was like... I know. I thought, I thought my, my guy was still in like the clutches of Lance Coleman. Oh, Boxer oh. Extraordinaire. I'm gonna... Yeah, they're struggling with a rope. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna I want to I want to try and help you get rid of them. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Or nine. So, so Lance, uh, would roll as well then. Yeah. I have a nine. Nine. Oh, four. Oh, they're both going after you, Lance. Four. No. Yeah. No. So no. I'm going after Dandy. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so, Wait. What? Uh, 
Yeah. Danny walked out and stepped out of my, part, my partner. What did Danny do to get in all this heat? <laughs> He's Ric Flair, basically. <laughs> I love Ric Flair. <laughs> Running around the that ring, tracks. man. You, you generate a lot of heat. It's called friction. I don't know. Um, yeah, so neither one of you were able to defeat uh, him in that battle. Um, Dandy, tell us how you kind of evade these two and make them kind of look foolish. Um, I, he doesn't make them look foolish, definitely. They get him over the rope, but he lands on his valet, Darby Stippleman. <laughs> so he doesn't actually touch outside the ring and he just clambers back in. If your cold uh, like, feet do not touch, then you are still free. That's true. It's classic rumble move. Rumble psychology 101. Get a valet. Uh, uh, D, I will absolutely fantastic. send you the playbooks for this so, I could... so that you can see what it's about. All right. Uh, I will have Nikki. Uh, you have a chance to avenge your getting slammed around there. Um, what would you like to do? Yeah, so that's what um, she. I, what I'm gonna do. So uh, I can't remember your character's name again. Uh, yeah. It's it's Gunther G. Gunhammer. Yes, I should have remembered. Uh, so she's gonna go after Gunhammer, um, and she's gonna do like a bear roll. So she's gonna jump towards his head and then kind of try to roll him uh, off the, like around the stage like that. Fantastic. Uh, roll and see how successful this bear roll is. I was really hoping you would call it a bear claw and it would be the mandible claw. It's like, you look hungry. How about a bear claw? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got a six. Yeah. What'd you get? I got a ten. Ten? Mm -hmm. So tell us how this bear roll looks. Yeah. It's so obviously she... going to be she gets up from being uh, slammed and gets up on the ropes and then just jumps towards him and uses her momentum to make him roll over her and then lands on top of him and mauls him, just like the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. We all appreciate a good mauling. Uh, now, let's see. Um, would you like to press the advantage and try and eliminate? Yes. Or do you have your attention set on other people in this ring? No, I want to eliminate. Okay, let's uh, let's see a roll then, please. Mostly, I just want to see what this other Another character in the art wants to play so bad it is. <laughs> I got a seven. Seven. Yeah. You uh, may eliminate. Tell us how you put him over the top rope and get rid of the gun hammer once and for all. That'll make some people in the chat happy. <laughs> um oh no now i don't i'm running out of bear ideas bear claw, i'm gonna do the bear claw i will use an interruption because i'm you not may. done talking shit about canada <laughs> <laughs> fantastic you use your interruption so uh ricky walk us through how you're going to eliminate and then uh we'll have the gun haber tell us how he gets out of this sticky situation uh, I'm gonna go with the <laughs> the chat suggestion. The shreddy bear is pretty good, babe. But I'm gonna go with the Ursa major beating, uh, and so that's just her like <laughs> jumping on him. <laughs> Fantastic. So you're just jumping like a gummy bear. Classic yeah. 1980s. <laughs> oh my cartoon. god, 90s reference. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Bouncing here and there and everywhere. Uh, yes, you, you stomp, 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 and then pick up the gun hammer to eliminate. Uh, Gunther, tell us how you get out of this situation. I get flipped over the rope, and I land on the apron, and I jump onto the uh, rails that's right in front of the audience. And then I jump back to the, to the apron. So when, you uh, Kofi Kingston. <laughs> yes, I'm pulling saying. a Kofi. Yeah. I'm pulling a Kofi. Yeah, it's a classic. Yeah, it's a very Florence Lava kind of move. I'm yeah. into it. <laughs> when the back is turned. Uh, and I would like to hit the top rope. Uh, go to the top rope. And I am going to... I am going to uh, 
Hey, Anita, what's your character's name? What are, no, you like guns, though. I can't attack you. Uh, it, it's what hat, Willie? Howdy? <laughs> yeah, he came in with it. Yeah, you know, I gotta, I gotta keep this field goal with the bear. Uh, and I'm gonna jump off the top ropes and hit you with from sea to shining sea. Uh, <laughs> so it's just, uh, it's just like a, uh, it's the Shane McMahon one side of the ring to the other with the drop kick. Uh, and that's an eight. Yeah, I, I rolled a four. Ugh. Four. <laughs> it connects. Tell me how. Uh... You press the, do you want to press the advantage here, or do you want to move on to uh, another I want feud? to press the advantage. Maybe team up with your partner? I want to Okay, uh, fantastic. Press the advantage. So the drop kick hits. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'll have you two roll again to see if you will eliminate. Ooh, two. Okay, that's a 10. Yeah, I rolled a two. <laughs> As a two, you are automatically eliminated with this move. It wouldn't have mattered uh, if this was on your first roll or on your second roll. Unfortunately, you're going out unless you want to use an interruption. No, I ran out of bear puns. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems the bear necessities have concluded. So we will bid you adieu. Uh, okay. I've tamed so the Canadian wildlands! <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, I would like to see the four of you kind of everybody gets into a corner and stares each other down and just kind of like tell me what each of your competitors is thinking. Uh, okay. No, go okay. ahead. If you're American, then you should go ahead. You're right. <laughs> oh, so... <laughs> uh, I'm strongly debating we're not gonna say please again <laughs> i'm strongly debating a seth Rollins shield moment against uh lance right now oh just breaking the staple wow you know? it's a paper wow. you gotta go big you know he'll turn you gotta go big and what what uh that's, that's not what a common view view take you have to take each other right? I know, you know, got you got you know. Yeah. I'm thinking about it. Everybody's expecting us to team up, to take everybody right. out. You know, in America, it's capitalist. Yeah, we can only be one at the top. <laughs> Survival of the fattest. Can't pay for your uh, health care too bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You're in Canada. You can get that check for free after the match. Here's six hundred dollars for the pandemic. Right. Do your best. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Six hundred dollars, <laughs> which people think is a big amount of money to poor people. <laughs> okay. What? Uh, what's Dandy Triple thinking? Triple down wrestle nomics. Or. Leave. <laughs> 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 okay, come on now. I died because of that. I'm, I'm a ghost now. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Can continue. <laughs> All right. The moment has passed, people. Let's steer this crashing train back to where we were. Uh, I'm going to give Noir a chance to catch his breath. So so I'm going to let Lance uh, tell us who you choose to attack next. Were we not all supposed to say what we were thinking? Yeah, we're past that now. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I think Damn it, Noir. No, trickle down WrestleNomics was exactly what uh, what my character was thinking in that moment. Okay. Yeah, I don't think Lance notices the impending betrayal. He's just focused on Dandy on the other end of the room. <laughs> like, okay. Fantastic. He wants to just charge straight at him with a Superman punch. <laughs> Fantastic. Roll it up. You and Dandy. Let's see what happens. Ten. Uh, seven. 
Ten and at seven. Um, I will have Dandy describe to us how he evades that Superman punch or turns it into a low blow or gets hit but still manages to come out on top somehow. See, he uh, he's over by the ropes and he's he's and then he just flops forward onto his face and the Superman punch goes right over him and maybe he starts to go over the over the ropes a bit. Not out, but okay. like yeah, that sounds like the a, apron. You could yeah, like he maybe gets hung up on the ropes, which could lead you to maybe picking up his feet and pushing him over the top. Um, so I'd have you guys roll again, please. Dropped my die. Seven. Uh, nine. Uh, tell us how you get out of being eliminated. Yeah, I think I think is um. As Danny tries to tries to toss him off, he just starts elbowing him to get him to back off. <laughs> oh wow, classic! And he's got a you know in chat for Sphinx. Awesome. Okay, uh, I will do the same. I will give Sphinx one automatic elimination of your choice to be used at any time in this game. I'll use it now, <laughs> man. I was, right, I was planning on interrupting. I had all sorts of shit. Oh, wow. <laughs> Lance, Lance is mad. <laughs> yeah, you, He's you the only good character I had. Just... Here's what I will say. If you choose to, uh, if you choose to, um, if you want to use your interruption, it won't prevent you from getting eliminated, but you may be able to take Lance with you. Due to somebody's inevitable betrayal. <laughs> yeah, all right. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at the, at the last, so stuns him with the as elbow. you're being thrown, <laughs> you know, as you're being thrown over, you uh, manage to catch on to, uh, you manage to catch on to Lance, and you're holding him. Uh, trying not to let yourself fall out of the ring into the ground. I will have uh, Noir and Ryan please roll against each other. Six. Six. Wait, which Ryan? Okay. There's two of us. That, that, no, that's the correct one. That was the okay. correct Ryan. Cool. Six. Um, <laughs> so uh, you exit falling out of the ring, uh, and I'll have you two roll... Um, you two turn around and kind of you notice you notice uh, that he was sneaking up on you to maybe eliminate you and the kind of the 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 tears if you had any in your mighty body would start welling up here. But <laughs> you're a dude and you're not gonna let that happen. But the disappointment's still there. It, I'll have you do roll again, please. He's gonna look at him like I should have saw it coming. <laughs> <laughs> like, come that's on, man. A six and a four, and that makes ten. Uh, that's six. That's a six. Uh, <laughs> Nor, tell us how you turn on your partner and betray him in front of the entire world. Uh, I'm gonna hit him with a filibuster, uh, <laughs> which is basically a six one nine. <laughs> Out of the ring. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. And and you know, since this is 1987, this is the most amazing shit people have ever seen. They're gonna be talking about this for the rest of their lives. Uh does does uh Dandy get to keep uh, their exception? Yeah. Ryan, doesn't... you bring up a good point. Ryan, you bring up a good point because he didn't get auto eliminated there, um, because he didn't wind up getting auto eliminated at that time. You keep that interruption. Don't worry about it. So you still have two free interruptions. Yeah, I haven't used it. This is my good yeah, message. I would say that after he eliminates okay. Lance, uh, my yeah. valet slips him some money because uh, he paid him to do it. <laughs> the capitalism. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I'm into that. I'm into that. Lance isn't Everybody even mad. He, he just wants a price. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, so, do you guys remind me, because this has been a while, who's still left in the ring? 
Uh, White Hat Willie really Howdy is still in the ring. So I will have Nikki roll and tell us who comes down next. Uh, all right, so I rolled a three, so I just bring on whoever I want. Yeah, whoever Perfect. you want, whoever was on that list of names. All right, in that case, I'm going to bring uh, Sandy Claus. And she's wearing nice. uh, like a sexy Santa costume. <laughs> and, um, and then um, like, you know, the platform, the white patent leather platform boots again. Uh, and she's carrying a, she's got a bag over her shoulder that's full of something. You don't know what, but it's full of something. Um, and so she's coming into the ring. And we have a boon in chat for Noir. Uh, oh, it's about Noir. time! I'm going to give Noir another Noir. one of his, uh, I'm going to replenish one of your interruptions, because you used two so far, or just I one? I used one, just one. Okay, so you're back to three. Andy Fantastic. just could be stopped. <laughs> <laughs> he was pretty unstoppable, that dude. Um, so I'm going to give uh, Sandy Claus the opportunity to look up these um, two opponents and decide which one she wants to try and get rid of first. Um, she's going to go, uh, so it's it's Howdy and uh, Gunhammer? That's right. She's gonna go for Gunhammer. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Nikki, we got beef. No, I'm, gonna... Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help. Uh, I'm gonna help her out with that. Yes. Oh, okay. fantastic. She's gonna so, be like, so, "My and how on the nice list?" <laughs> I'm not helping. I got an eight. I got a seven. Three. Wow. So uh, the three of you kind of are trying to eliminate, trying to eliminate, and uh, you're getting closer, and uh, some music hits. Uh, I will have um, Ryan Sim tell me who is coming down to the ring. Bo, thank you very much for that raid. It's good to see you. Uh, so the lights turn from the bright fluorescent that they are to a red, and there is a projection of a hammer and sickle on the, on the walkway and down and you start hearing this Soviet uh, anthem playing because it's that time of year. It's that like period of, uh, history and down comes the foreign heel the Red Razor, Gregory Dimitchev, with his um, uh, Greg Valentine, or the barber uh, type shears, but one is a uh, one is a hammer and one is a sickle. He is also nice. a barber. He's the Red Razor. <laughs> Fantastic. So yeah, you're coming out of the ring. Uh, you enter it. And you see these three who are trying to all eliminate one person. They kind of drop them, turn towards you. Uh, it's your opportunity to um, see what happens. Do you uh, want to try and help eliminate this capitalist dog? Yes. That is everything I want in life. All right. <laughs> <laughs> these two weaklings, Phil, bring it on. Uh, so we have a third person that enters. Uh, I will have you roll your dice. And if you could beat that eight, we will uh, let you eliminate. That is a nine. <laughs> that is a nine. You're, the red tide was the force that they were looking to uh, to get the, uh, the gun Would you hammer say that he helped turn the tide? And... <laughs> Halt! Yes. I yeah. will use my replenish. Because I'm somehow grown attacked to this capitalist dog. <laughs> so he's gonna use all his interrupts on this character watch. Yeah, he's gonna have this one character. I think I think Noir is just here to make sure I can't have any fun tonight. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm not. 
Don't even start with me. <laughs> Hydrate. No! I don't have anything. So you don't hydrate. Here we go. Jesus H. Macy. Okay, so the three of you were able to move him over the top rope and down. Uh, he does what to save himself, please, Noir? Stretch. I will... God damn it. Upon seeing myself get ready to fall out of the ring, I am going to take the money that the valet driver gave me and throw it off the apron so that members of the audience come and get it and I'm going to step on them. <laughs> some marks from That's the like crowd some... pop out. And... Yeah, all the marks. <laughs> It's like that's American money. That's worth a dollar thirty. Yeah, I gotta get that. No, oh, just plants. <laughs> the first whole uh, one was plants. Jobbers from the indie yeah. circuit. Absolutely, and you oh. land on them, and you make Walking your way back to the, the ring. Walking on the poor, like come back. <laughs> yeah, this is the uh, Vic Park promotion. I will, I will have um, Ryan Spinks. Please roll and tell us he's coming to the ring. Okay. So some really festive music starts playing. Sounds like Mardi Gras music. And this guy comes out wearing carnival gear. Nice. <laughs> no Similar way. Similar to the carnival spirit. <laughs> Just second line it down to the ring. Nice. Nice. <laughs> He's just dancing his way to the ring, throwing beads to people. <laughs> nice. Who is this man? Hmm? And he's throwing coconuts because he can do that in this time period. <laughs> oh, what's his, what's his name? Carnival Spirit. <laughs> Carnival Spirit? <laughs> I, uh, I think I went on a cruise on that once. <laughs> Yeah, he just dances his way down to the ring because everybody else is tied up attention to him, so he just easily <laughs> dances his way down to the ring gets in. Fantastic. Uh, Carnival Spirit, what a great entrance. I will give you the opportunity to pick uh, anyone that you would wish to try and uh, lock up with. Help us take this capitalist pig out. <laughs> Uh, which one? Who's closest to him right now? <laughs> He's probably going for that person. Uh, maybe uh, White Hat Willie Gowdy. You're probably equal. You're, you're probably equidistant to everybody because they all were kind of by that rope area. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, um, probably go. He'd probably go after Willie. <laughs> all right. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see some rolls, please. Uh, and we have another boon for Sphinx. That is a 10 for me. A 6 for me. Okay. Uh, the boon is that your dice rolls have been flip-flopped, reversed. Okay. Cool. Uh, you now have the 10. She now has the 6. So tell us how you were able to uh, turn the willies and move against them. Uh so he's just gonna duck like whatever attack Willie was gonna do, and then just goes for a suplex, like mm. jump, <laughs> roll <laughs> back suplex. Let's see if I get thrown over the rope. Yeah, but I just roll again, please. Okay. Yeah. Uh, six again. <laughs> uh, I got a seven. A seven. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty close. Uh, but you still are able to turn the advantage to yourself. All right. Uh, uh, how do you get out of this German suplex? Or uh, I think do I just, you uh, let the I'm... momentum of the suplex do something to you? Or... Uh, I let the momentum of the suplex... Uh, so it's like that. And then... Uh, I'm just going to take... I'm just uh, kind of going to go over the head and then uh, reverse it into um, almost like a... Like sweep the legs out from under him underneath. Uh 
Like it doesn't it doesn't quite go as okay. far as you think, and we'll turn it into a okay move. Seems cool. Sure. So like a double leg sweep or yeah, something, like something that. of that, like almost maybe even like a like a Russian leg sweep. You could turn it into. Yeah. That sounds cool. Uh, are you going to press your advantage on on the card of the spirit, or do you have loftier goals in mind? Um. So who else is in the ring? We've got. Uh... Actually, we've got Sandy Claus. Sandy Claus. We've got uh, we've the got red. the Red Scare. I forgot his name. The, the Red Razor. Something. <laughs> uh, the Red Razor. Sorry. Uh, and I apologize, we have, uh, but I like my name better. And we have the the Gun Hammer. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go after the Gun, the gun hammer. hammer. We're gonna take out the Gun Hammer. Okay. Oh, may Does try. anybody want to help take out the Gun Hammer? Oh, little Phil. <laughs> Don't look at Sandy gets my military okay. and does Red Razor will life. also help. <laughs> oh, you gotta defeat really? the 3G. <laughs> yeah, three players. You just have to beat Noir. <laughs> I feel like everyone in this game needs action figures to show what they mean. Ooh. 11? <laughs> That's a six from me. How are you this unstoppable? I don't know. It's the American spirit. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> no! <laughs> yes! You're on the, you are on the nice Wow. Day. Yes. No! Let's, uh, let's see. The gun hammer. <laughs> yes, it's eliminated in slow motion. <laughs> you are out of the ring, Sarah. It is the, the power of the uh, that great. is right. That, hey, man, when a 12 beats an 11, that's pretty awesome. I was going to say, oh. it was brave of Noir to come here with a dice that only have 11s and 12s printed on them, but <laughs> Apparently you have one too. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's see what's going on in the ring still. Um, the three of you have uh, managed to oust the gun hammer, a formidable enemy. And as the gun uh, hammer spirit has walks made away. away off the off of the mat. Um, again, we have kind of a four day stare, uh, four way stare down kind of thing going on. Yeah. Um, I'll, uh, I'll have I'll all of you. Tip my hat to the gun Please. hammer and say it's time for you to ride off into the sunset. Uh, okay, so we're having we're gonna have one of those. Stand Everybody downs. rolls. Yeah, two. Roll an eight. I'll roll the two again. Nine. I'm not doing this. I swear to God, I rolled another eleven. <laughs> You need new dice. So fuck you. <laughs> okay. So, uh, you all seem to notice that that took a lot of effort out of Sandy Claus. Um, and whoever rolled highest can choose to eliminate them now. Nine. That would be nine. Me. Nine? You go so ahead. Two nines. So you could both? Yeah, we'll or... both, we'll both uh, take out Sandy Claus. How about I Irish yeah. whip you Enjoy. into her? Okay, cool. Let's do it. Can I do my interruption now? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> All right. I had some more fun Santa Claus moves I have in my bag. So. Okay. Yeah. So they attempt to uh, to get you out. Tell us how you get back into the ring or uh, stop yourself from falling out. She's going to do coming down the chimney. And she climbs up on the edge of the ring and just comes straight down um, when she jumps off. Like oh, fantastic. Her... <laughs> so, <laughs> like, a, like a loser. Yeah. Straight down. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, which saves yourself. Um, the Carnival Spirit, uh, you are next. Please tell us what happens. He's, he's going to go after Razor. <laughs> oh. I don't know if y'all just really like me or really dislike me at this point. <laughs> I literally had the entire roster just eliminate me. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Rolled an eight. An eight? Okay. Uh -oh. Eight. <laughs> Pair of eights. Uh, you two lock up like the formidable titans of the ring that you are. Why uh, is the while you're doing that? <laughs> Some music hits. And Noir, tell us who's coming down to the stage now. I've already rolled it, and it is 
man guy. It is just this really buff dude in like a loincloth. And he, uh, by the power of things not trademarked. Yeah! And then he just comes to the stage uh, looking like mad ripped. And he's like, you! And he points to uh, the cowboy. You yes, Cowboys versus Barbarians is a classic. Out of here. Uh, classic. Uh, and he's Giddy up, to, Buttercup. He's just gonna uh, go to hit with the spear. Basically, this is just Goldberg dressed up like uh, He Man. <laughs> <laughs> Goldberg as He Man. That's fantastic. Uh, so that's an eight. Uh, Our boy Howdy. That's a seven. Oh, yeah, that's you, a you seven. The spear, the spear rocks. Oh! I have the Fantastic. strength. <laughs> I'm strong. Heather <laughs> uh, theme music needs to be like What's Up by Pokemon Blondes. It's a very terrible <laughs> rebuttal. Right? Okay, cool. All right, All so, right. Uh, so you could, do you choose to press the advantage? Oh, you know I do. <laughs> That's a seven. Oh, uh, oh. Howdy? Uh, What's your uh, count? Ah, uh, uh, that's a three. Oh, no. Three! God damn it. Oh, uh, is Howdy going to be eliminated, or are they going to interrupt oh, this? Oh, no, yeah, I'm, I'm out. I'm out on that one. Okay. <laughs> Tell us how you... <laughs> just a gorilla press over the top rope. Yeah. Uh, Sandy Claus, tell us what you're going to do next. Um, Sandy Claus, uh, who's still in? The Saint and then there. Red Scare. The Red okay. Razor. The Red Razor. Spirit. Nobody can and remember the name. <laughs> I remembered it earlier when somebody asked and then I forgot again. Um, okay, so she's going to go after the person in Mardi Gras attire and be like, you are definitely on the naughty list. Yeah, so I'm going after the I... Carnival spirit. So go ahead and roll, please. I said, "Hey, what is up, y'all?" Eight. Uh, three. <laughs> okay. Uh, so tell us what you do to the carnival spirit. She is doing Santa's bag, um, and so Santa's bag is. Uh, she takes Santa's and got bag, off brand new bag, and then just rings it around her head and then hits him with it. It's it's full of empty boxes. Oh. The audience doesn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep that kayfabe. Just perfect. Uh, yeah. So, snaking it out so here. So you've managed to remove him from his feet. How would you like press the advantage? Or do you have someone else on your mind? Uh, let's press the advantage. Okay. Uh, would anybody who's still left in the ring like to help get rid of Carnival Spirit? Or... Man, guy will help bully. Carnival Spirit <laughs> out with this. I wrote. <laughs> I think I might have eliminated myself. Uh, I rolled a two. Three. Oh, I rolled a five. I rolled an eight. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Carnival, Carnival Spirit, Spirit is strong tonight. With a, with a show of strength, belying uh, his <laughs> small frame. He. Uh, Gets that that kind of calypso vibe going and pumps his fist, <laughs> and it's time to not only not get thrown out, but make sure that Man Guy is on the way out. Man Guy, you are about to eat a face full of um, floor. Are you going to interrupt, or are you going to call it you for know, now? Look, Man Guy had a good run. <laughs> no, he didn't. But go off. he got rid of a person. Right? That's all you can ask for. Look, come on. If, if he's Man guy did as much as a Goldberg club. I was going to say, it's been five <laughs> minutes. That's all he's got. <laughs> That's why he's Goldberg. You want, you want 30 minute matches out of Goldberg? You out of your goddamn life. <laughs> <laughs> Big beef, big slapping beef. <laughs> slapping beef. Yeah. Right. So, Man guy is uh, out of there. Mad guy is out of there. I need to tell me who's coming down to the ring next. All right, let's roll. Um, 
Uh, it's gonna be, uh, Gary, the tower, Cal, is gonna come to the ring. Uh, about six foot five, uh, is, uh, uh, just, uh, just like, a, uh, wearing a, a singlet. Yeah, wearing a singlet and wrestling boots. Yep. Uh, very Andre the Giant, but, uh, Calgarian. Uh, and is gonna just sort of, like, walk to the ring. And, uh, just sort of roll in lazily. And then beat his chest a little bit. I can dig it. Yeah. I can dig it. Uh, so who's left in the ring right now? We've got Sandy Claus. Correct? Yeah. We've got Carnival Spirit. I'm just going to stand the there and wait for someone to uh, try something. That's it. Okay. Yeah, that's a that's a classic uh, giant type dude move. Mm -hmm. You know, like who could eliminate the three hundred and forty five? We have not dude? had a Bret Hart uh, reference yet. Six, five, so it's probably like that's disappointing. Uh, no, we have not. Yeah. Okay. Um. So you are going to stand there. Uh, I'm going to give the advantage to the Red Razor at the moment. Um, he is going to. He is going to square up to, to the newcomer in the ring. Right square up. Yes. He's going to square up to the, uh, to the, he, he's probably about half a foot shorter than him. And he's going to like, it's going to be like a good 30 seconds of them just locking eyes. And then he's going to turn and he's going to big boot Nikki's character directly in the face. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now that is a heel turn. Uh, I will have you roll against Nikki then. I'm going to say rule of cool. That boot hits. <laughs> 10 and a 4. Uh, the 10, yeah, that big boot connects. Uh, and you can press the advantage here or... He is... Um, He's going well, to look at Anita's character and he's going to see Nikki's character on the ground. I'm apologizing. I can't remember your names at the sec at this hot second. Sandy Claus. And uh, it, right now it is uh, Gary the Tower Cal. Ah, he's going to gesture for the tower that the tower may take the elimination. All right. And he's going to back off. Okay. Do you accept? I'll accept. And I'll try to eliminate Sandy. Claus. I will give this to you. If you could beat, if you can, uh, if you can outroll on this time, I will give it as an amazing. Uh, that's a 10. From me. 10. Eight. Eight. Yep. Okay. It seems like we're going to see the end of this Christmas story. Unless you'd like to use another interruption, it's up to you. No, no, no. Uh, it's fine. Okay. But Sandy Claus is dumped now. unceremoniously out of the ring. She is going to scream as she goes down, You're getting coal in your stocking! Nice. Good. It's good to heat, it is good to heat home. <laughs> <laughs> Been waiting all year. That was a plan all along. <laughs> it's for children. I am evil, so they may, they may leave. Okay. Prince the so, soul. Uh, yep. That's, new, that's gonna be my last character. Here. I'm gonna say that that the next um, next characters that come in are going to be our final characters. Okay. Uh, so, Noir, tell us who's coming down to the ring next. Can I choose who comes instead of who I roll? I will let you choose. I will okay. absolutely let you choose. All the lights flash on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, no. Yes! Yes! <laughs> and, and there's this really buff dude in a white crop top and a really teeny, teeny tiny jacket and a small hat, all in white, runs to the stage, uh, runs to the ring, and when he gets to the ring, the lights go out. 
And then he stands there, and his eyes are just wide, and he does this. And uh, you all know this to be the overgiver. <laughs> the live guy. Wake in anxiousness. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna come in, and he's, and he's going to a Lucifer ring right now. <laughs> Is it just you, spirit of Cardinal? The Cardinal uh, spirit? I think Gary and, and Reza. And the Red Razor is still there. Uh, I'm going after the Carnival spirit. I saw that shit was straight. Uh. <laughs> Uh, that is a seven, eight, eight total. That's a six. Uh, you are going to get hit with the crib wood. <laughs> <laughs> he just, just picks you up and he just drops you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah! <laughs> Not yet. Nope. <laughs> that was a different guy. That was a different guy. <laughs> Do I push the advantage? Or... <laughs> I just want to imagine this guy. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm far too tickled by this. Uh, yeah, I, uh, if I could, I'd like to try and eliminate the spirit. Of the Absolutely. Spirit. Go ahead and try. All right. Uh, that is a three. <laughs> That's a six. Yeah. That's a six. I, so it doesn't work. Uh, so this is definitely some, uh, this is definitely anti Undertaker stats here. <laughs> really it's more like one in 31. <laughs> Yeah, you, can't, yeah. you can't kill a spirit of the carnival. It's fueled by beer and bad decisions. <laughs> I'm the opposite of the Undertaker. I lose every pay per view. <laughs> there you go, Bo. Yeah, some it. people no sell. You just all sell. <laughs> I just got it. Oh my god, okay. overgiver. <laughs> <laughs> okay so uh are you gonna try and uh, wait uh, i think it's somebody else's turn i'm sorry i need to stop yeah. laughing <laughs> okay uh seeing this the tower is going spirit to... is able to yeah go ahead no nope, that's fine credible spirit is able to take the overgiver out uh, allowing the tower to go ahead and make a move on whomever they please. Uh, the tower's gonna try and take out the overgiver. Okay. We'll, we'll see how it Let's goes. see what happens. He's... Oof. What'd you roll? I rolled a six. I rolled a five. <laughs> uh, I will hit you with the Heimlich drop. Okay. <laughs> I, just, I just go around behind you. I do the high lick, and then I put you down. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most devastating move in first aid, folks. <laughs> Nikki, I'll have you roll and tell us who's coming in, please. Or just, yeah, you can just choose, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm bringing Jackie yeah. Frost. Uh, she is um, very tall, blonde. Um, and she's wearing a white fur hat, like the round fur hat, you know, and she's got on like a light blue outfit with white fur trim. And so she comes uh, skipping out and to her entry music, whatever it is. This speaks um, to the razor. He's not sure. <laughs> uh, she's going to go for Carnival Spirit. Okay. Everybody, Fantastic. Let's see what happens. Everybody hates carnivals, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Mardi Gras. Uh, that's eight. Ah, All right. I got. I rolled a seven. A seven. Okay. So carnival spirit is on a bit of a tear here. 
uh, and is able to fend you off. Um, Ryan, do you want to press the advantage, or yeah. do you want to? Look Tonal Spirit else? is just dancing around the ring, avoiding watching everybody that comes for it. Almost like a drunken person. <laughs> <laughs> just a drunken master. <laughs> So yeah, he's gonna press. He's gonna press the advantage and use his finishing move. Throw me something, Mister. <laughs> he just to throw somebody over the top rope. <laughs> All right, I'll have the two of you roll, please. A seven. Ten. Ten. Yes. So, tell us how you uh, avoid this this uh, attempt to be thrown over the top rope. She's going to do frostbite. And so basically, she's going to grab him and bite him. <laughs> Normally, Simple, very illegal movie. Effective. <laughs> Highly illegal. But hey, it's a Royal Rumble. Everything goes. Oh, sorry. I can't say that or I'll get sued. Uh, it is a final battle royale, King of the North Pole, or Queen. Uh, I will have um, our boy Howdy. Are you still in the ring or did you get eliminated? Uh, tower? It's now the tower. It's, ca- it's Yeah, you're three. the tower now. Yeah. Tower tried to okay. eliminate the, but I'm still yeah. there. Yeah. Tower tried to eliminate didn't work. the overgiver and I stopped it. Okay. Um just so that I am aware, and maybe if people haven't shown up yet and are showing up now, how many elimination or uh interruptions do we have left? Uh two for everyone. Three. <laughs> uh, I think I still have three. Okay, fantastic. So this is going to be, from now on, uh, only one uh, roll to eliminate. Okay. So okay. if you can make the elimination roll, then it will work, unless they want to interrupt. All right. Okay. Well. So let's see what the, what, what the tower going to do. Uh, a tower is going to uh, look at the overgiver. Uh, and going to do one of those, like we're going to do the lock up, mm-hmm. uh, and then just try and like suplex him over the rope. Got an eight. Uh, I got a seven. Brutal. Seven. I'm out. So you're out unless you want to use one of your interruptions. No, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna come back with uh, one more character, and then I'm out. And then uh, that's it. Okay, I'll allow it. Okay. Okay, I will allow it. Uh, can I introduce that character now? Who are you coming back as? Uh, I'm going to say Absolutely. That, uh, that some overdriven uh, guitar music hits, uh, and out is the local uh, hero of the promotion, uh, Brent, mm-hmm. the assassin soul. <laughs> 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 of the famed soul of the famed soul family. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, they're the uh, uh, they the huge in this town. they uh, they train in the castle. Oh, yeah, they train in the castle. I love Jim the Anvil Need Soul. He's fucking great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna <laughs> run out. Uh, yeah, uh, and my brother Rowan. Uh, yes, Brant and Rowan, Rowan Soul. Rowan Soul. Yeah. Yeah, we're a tag team. Uh, I'm gonna run out yeah. the soul girl. Tinder, Tinder, <laughs> Tinder, Tinder. <laughs> uh, I'm Brent gonna, I'm gonna run in hot, and I'm gonna go uh, after the carnival spirit. Okay. Let's carnival try it. spirit. I'll have you roll. Can I attempt to assist? <laughs> Yeah. You can assist. That's correct. We're taking this part. We're, 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 this party's we're over. We're this party. <laughs> Nine. Seven. Fuck! <laughs> Nine. Nine. Okay. So, uh, at this point, I will have Noir re-roll. If you could roll above a seven, I will consider this an elimination. I want to make sure that you see that I, I put in a boon for Sphinx on in the chat. Yeah, why you why you why you working against me, Nikki? <laughs> <laughs> Nine. Jesus Christ! Ooh, <laughs> it is an eleven. However, he still has three. Yeah, I'm going to use uh, one. <laughs> interruptions. I'm going to use one of them. And 
Okay, fantastic. Uh, so you are just about to be thrown out, um, but managed to get back into the ring. Uh, how did you do that again? Uh, I think much in the same way um, Dandy had and somebody was just outside of the ring, he landed on him and he did, his feet didn't touch the floor. Like yeah, a, like, like a huge party crowd, party like, like, like a huge party crowd was coming through. <laughs> Just no way, Jose. At this point, yeah, like the conga line. <laughs> Adam <laughs> Rose, maybe. Yeah, that's fantastic. Okay, uh, you have a boon, so I am going to say that that is a free interruption. So you still have three remaining. Okay. Um, okay. So I would ask, uh, who's left? Uh, Lady Frost. I would have you. Go, please. She's going for the overgiver. <laughs> oh. All right, Nikki, who are we fighting? <laughs> she, is, she is fully a foot taller than you with her heels on. The overgiver is incredibly short. <laughs> <laughs> There's no Everyone just broke in the street. I just right. think he's Gilberg at this point. I rolled a, I rolled a 10. Which is okay. Not yeah. I rolled all night. I rolled a four. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. So you're about to be eliminated. Are you going to interrupt? I will interrupt my manager, Paul Blart. Small uh, <laughs> <Mall> cop? <laughs> will ride by on his Segway, and I will <laughs> hop on his shoulders. <laughs> and he will ride me to the other side of the ring, and I will hop <laughs> off and back into the ring. <laughs> I could dig it. Uh, I will have the red razor. Uh, please take a move here. I was muted. Uh, well, I know that the carnival spirit is invincible at this point. Uh, so as <laughs> soon as the spirit of the party, as soon as the overgiver gets back in, it's just another big boot to push him right out again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, roll, please. Oh, come on. That's a four. <laughs> Six. I'm going to use my okay. last. No, I think you have one last address. I'm going to use my last one. And you know you know who it is. It's your boy, Paul Blart, coming in with the Segway. <laughs> this time, he jumps off the Segway, and I hop onto it. Uh, <laughs> he takes the big boot instead of you. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I got to get me a ball cop. <laughs> Yo, he is a security professional. This is why we need segways haven't been invented yet, but somehow we have them here. You know what? Like, don't ask us because you're not ready for the answers to. <laughs> it's a Vespa. You know what? You know where the overgiver's from? Parts unknown. So. <laughs> no, he's from parts known. <laughs> it's from parts known. Somewhere only you know. Uh, Life Mountain. <laughs> Life, oh yeah, Life Mountain, Ohio. Death Valley. Um, yeah, I, I'm gonna get back into the ring. Um, and if I can, I would like to try and take out the spirit of the party one last time. I'll help with that. I want to go out how I live, <laughs> fucking up. <laughs> can, I, can I help Carnival Spirit not get Absolutely. taken out? Oh my God. Yes, you know that is I'm, true. You can do that as well. So, uh, team versus team. I need y'all to understand that for the last four rolls, I have been getting nothing but fours. Oh, sure. <laughs> a likely story. I rolled a six. I just rolled a <laughs> I rolled a five. Uh, I rolled Oh, wow. Eight. Well, I rolled, you rolled an eight. I rolled an eight. Guess what? The person with the lowest roll gets eliminated here. The overgiver. <laughs> <laughs> Say goodbye <laughs> to the good guy. <sighs> the overgiver has been eliminated, but his uh, spirit will live on in our hearts. Uh, so the four of you remain. And uh, wake I and will anxiety. Give it to... <laughs> I will never forget you. Uh, I will talk to you about my therapist. You learned so much. Another person loses themselves. Uh, of the corner. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give it to the soul brother soul okay. brother number one 
uh, yeah, the Brent, Brent, uh, is gonna go, uh, and I'm gonna try and take out the, uh, the Red Razor. What's you know the Red what? Razor have to do to you? I don't you like, I don't <laughs> like, I'm good, I'm a good Canadian boy. I don't like, I don't know why I was going to Don Cherry there, but let's go with it. I, <laughs> I, <laughs> well, yeah, because you want to save hockey for the rest of us. Yeah. Uh, I don't like, uh, you don't want those Russians on our team. I don't want the, I, if this is definitely going to be a, an instant classic. I'm going to try and take out the, the Red Razor. Ah, that's I'm just hockey. mad because we win at hockey. That's all. Uh, that is a nine from me. Hey, the planet, the uh, Olympics are in one year in Calgary, just so everybody's aware of that. Yeah. Five. Nine. Five. And nine. Nine. Ah. Rick. Ah. Razor. What I mean, do you do to save yourself, or are you being eliminated? No, I'm using an interruption. Uh, okay. I'm not yeah, sure how. Don Cherry's a racist, so never mind. Ignore my Don Cherry impression. Uh, I'm going to uh, fall over the top ring or top rope, excuse me. And uh, there's a pile of robes from Dandy Randy that are still just on the ground. And he's just going to fall on top of them, but his feet will never hit the floor. So he's just going to stand up on them and shuffle towards the ring and get back in. Fantastic. I like it. Uh, that's the weirdest okay. technicality I've uh, ever seen in, in a rumble match. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Feet the, are practically uh, touching the floor. Spirit. Yeah, they're on the floor, but they're not really. <laughs> Whoa, what, where does it stop at your boots? I don't know. Uh, anyway, um, Carnival Spirit, please tell us what you want to do. Um. Yeah, I think he's. I think he's also gonna try to eliminate Red, Red Razor. Like he's been dancing. <laughs> he's been sneakily trying to eliminate everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Never trust the party man. Oh, that's four. Eleven. <laughs> Eleven. Wow. Tell us how you want to uh, get rid of the the party animal. Uh, and Anita, you know, what you were looking for is worse there is, is worse there was, was, and worse, worse there, there ever will be. be. That's me, yeah. Um, I'm going to try to do a, a back body drop. The carnival spirit's going to rush at me. He's just going to get down and right over, try to get him right over the the ropes. Maneuver. Use my second. <laughs> All right. So I think he still has three interruptions, right? No, I have, I have two now. Oh, okay. You're using using one. Uh, because you did have a boon and that one was erased. Yeah. So, so I, I'm using uh, a second one, so... Okay, sounds great. So he, he basically hangs on to the, to the bottom rope. <laughs> Just barely <laughs> stopping himself from hitting the ground. <laughs> Just pulls nice, himself Nice, skinning the cat. Classic. Nice. Can't argue with that. It works, it works. Uh, Nikki, you're still in this match, are you not? Uh, yeah. What would the lady Jackie Frost like to do? Jackie Frost would like to help her comrade yes. and get his carnival spirit out of the ring. Shield turn! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we didn't see this coming. I mean, there's an infected. So who are you going against then? The carnival spirit. <laughs> All right, Come fantastic. On. Communists is so, for everyone. So both of you. <laughs> so do you, did you want? Eight. Twelve. Just First saying. twelve. Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell us what you do to uh, try and eliminate Jackie Frost here. I think as he charges me, I almost in a moment of clarity, he. Just drops, <laughs> drops the whole like swing, <laughs> just up and over. Uh, I'm gonna use my interruption and grab for my comrade and and pull my have him help me pull bring me back into the ring. So I'm like on my tiptoe on the outside and just get pulled back in. 
Beautiful. I can see it now. Uh, that leaves the soul, brother. What would you like to do? Oh, uh, that's me. That's me. Um, I am going to... Uh, are all three of them sort of in, like, one one position? Pretty much. <laughs> yes. Uh, these two have just come back over the ring. Uh, Carnival Spirit is at the ring. So there's kind of all by this rope. At okay. The uh, so I'm going to get some momentum, uh, run to the back rope, and I'm going to come in with a clothesline and try to take as many of them out as I can once. Try for the big sweep. Whoa. <laughs> Got some high wow, hopes. Wow, I will. I'll rule the pool that. I'll allow it. However, this is high risk. Uh, yeah. So if oh, yeah. you get lower than any of the people you're trying to eliminate, I'm you're out. I'm out. Yeah. You have to. That is perfect. Okay. Eight. Like Ooh, we tied. Ten. 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 So you run. Both arms out, and I got trying to take out as many as you can, you. and they all bounce into the rope and push you back. Uh, you are not eliminated. No one else is eliminated. Uh, uh, I did get a, a boon in chat, so whatever that means nonetheless. to me. Oh. Yeah. Um, okay, I'll save it. I'll save it. Uh, okay. I will say that on your next... On your next roll, okay. uh, you can add plus one. Okay, cool. Got you. Got you, got you. Rolls a 12, gets a 13. Okay. Building explodes. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the ring breaks. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> if, 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 wait, if, if you if you throw somebody through the ape <laughs> the ring to the ground. <laughs> they have to go over the top rope. <laughs> if it goes through yeah. the ring, that's yeah, not they still would be eliminated. They'd be very sad, but they wouldn't be eliminated. <laughs> It's the best one match. <laughs> Laid in the hospital bed. Okay. <laughs> <It's the win. laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to say that um, all four of you, I'll have you all roll again. Okay. That's cocked. Six. Nine. Six. Okay. Uh, number get... nine. Oh, God. Number six? Uh, You've got a six right now. Do you want to bump it up to a seven? I'll bump it up to a seven. So that way I'm not tied. Okay. So what do we have? We have who? Six. What do we have where? Nine. Now six. Six. Okay. 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 So. Uh, the highest score may attempt to eliminate the lowest score. Huh. So wait, who has the six? Uh, that would be the Carnival, the Carnival Spirit. Spirit. That would be the Carnival Spirit, my friend. I am afraid of no man, but that thing, it scares <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah, he'll try to do it. Okay. Okay. Uh, and I will give it to you, um, unless you have an interruption left. Do you have an interruption left? So I was still pulling out stuff to throw to people in the crowd. <laughs> I don't know where it's coming from. So the Red Razor will get up some a head of steam off the rope, and he will use his clothesline from hell, basically, called the Iron Curtain, and try to take him over the top rope. Okay. Uh, I would have you roll one more time. Eight, six, eight. In. We gotta we gotta stop meeting like this, Brian. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> this is this is like the what the fourth time tonight. Force meets the immovable object, <laughs> and what happens is nothing again. Uh, at this moment is where Soul meets Frost. Yeah. And I would have the two of you roll. All right. All right. Seven. Six. Six. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you have any interruptions left? Uh, I do. I have two interruptions left, so I'll use one of them to not get eliminated this time. Okay. Tell me how you not get eliminated. 
so uh, Frost, I'm guessing, is coming at me to try and, like, do a move or something? I was going to do the icicle. Okay. Uh, ex- explain that but move to me. is the icicle. <laughs> the icicle is um, when she... Uh, Mm. Okay, so you know how icicles hang? So let's say you were going to try to do a clothesline on me, and she was going to try to hang off your arm. Oh, okay. Uh, so instead of that, I think uh, it's just uh, the hang off the arm and just like sort of a throw down, maybe? Yeah, that tracks. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, we'll try and we'll try this again. Do you want to try this one more time? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Six. Ten. Okay. So Do now that she was on the other left? foot and you are going to try and eliminate. I still have three interruptions, oh, so I'm down to two. <laughs> <laughs> A boon for Nikki. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, and okay, Nikki, uh, on your next roll, I will... For who? For me. Okay, so if there's a boon in the chat for Nikki, then uh, I will say the same thing. You get a plus one, um, but I'll let you bank it, and you can use it on whichever roll you like. Okay. doesn't have to be your next one. It could be the next test. All right. Um, Jackie Frost is going to look at um, the, the red razor and say, let's take this one out first and, and point at the soul brother. Mm-hmm. Eliminations are for the everyone. Soul Foundation. <laughs> he will try to help. Okay. All right. Go okay. Let's try this. <laughs> nope. I rolled an 11. Nine. Oh! Uh, I think you are leaving unless you have an interruption. Now. I do, but you know what? It's been a slice. But it's time for the, the soul <laughs> right. to leave the room. All right. Iron curtain. All right. It breaks the heart of everybody in Calgary to see their uh, favorite son eliminated. Yeah. But out oh, you do go. Yeah. So now it is just uh, the strictly the carnival man versus the red scare. And Can I try to eliminate the two of them will. while they while they eliminated uh, Brent. Brent. <laughs> just Absolutely. come up behind I will and do the same thing as we did with Anita. <laughs> we'll do a uh, we'll do a um, risk versus reward thing. If you roll lower than any of them, then you are the one in turn eliminated. Uh, but if you roll higher, then it works. Eight. Eight. Nine. <laughs> oh! <laughs> so. Tell us how you try and eliminate these two, and they overpower you and toss you out. He's, he basically try to come up from behind to take them, like lift them both up by the leg to try to throw them over the rope. He, he just fell back his, down. He overestimates his own strength. <laughs> the way the bed is too much. Yeah, you've, you've had a, you've had a few too many, maybe, and uh, you aren't actually that strong. Um, so they, in turn, eliminate you unless you have an interruption. Yes, I do. <laughs> One more. <laughs> so this last interruption, tell us how uh, you are not actually eliminated, but it may look like it. It's almost like they try to throw him over, and it's almost like a 619 where he comes through the middle rope <laughs> and whips himself back into the room. <laughs> like over the rope, so he slides like over and then back in. Yeah. <laughs> Like, he's not even sure how he did it. We're having a physics party here. <laughs> <laughs> like, how? Oh. All right. Ron McMichael. Fantastic. So the two of you, are, or all three of you are still left, and you still have the uh, the, the party man. It's, I think it's just time for... I think we should just go after the same yeah. guy. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> Six. Eight. Five. Fuck. Wow. Um, so you guys are both busy, busy, busy trying to eliminate this person who has 
done every conceivable form of saving themselves. Uh, however, the carnival spirit is still too strong in everyone, and the crowd begins chanting, Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras, and he kind of feeds off of this and is able to uh, come back into the ring. And, Since I had uh, one more interruption that was left that I didn't use, would I be able to give that to the carnival spirit? I'll donate it. Why not? I'll donate my, yeah, my last interruption. Oh, we will donate. <laughs> okay, fantastic. So you do have another one left. Um, which of these two would you like to eliminate, or are you going to try for both of them again? No, I'm going to try to eliminate red first. <laughs> red reason. Okay. Well, wow. it's neat. I don't think you're going to eliminate me with this hot 10 action. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I think I, so, have, I think I have Noir's dice now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he how, traded them to you once he how, became the over. How about DQ? It's still getting roasted. Over <laughs> <laughs> the power of the overgiver, my friend. All right. So uh, that means that once again, we're going to see this uh, this carnival spirit be eliminated. Uh, Got one interruption, though. However. <laughs> Damn you, Brent Soul. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, however, you are able to come back in. Uh, I will give it to Jackie Frost now. Uh, again, would you like to team up with your partner, or is this a time to split from the... So no, we're, no, we're going to team up, of course. <laughs> we haven't, we, we need to have like a love triangle thing, then we break up. Right. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. I've had a scene in my head already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten. Seven. Oh, sorry, are we rolling? I was writing a yes. joke in chat. <laughs> <laughs> Seven. Oh. Seven. Uh, I will allow um, the carnival spirit to pick one of these two and try and eliminate them instead. I'm going to finish what I started and go for red race. <laughs> okay. So as you're being thrown over the ropes, you manage to bring red razor over the ropes with you. And the two of you are standing at the canvas. Uh, kind of squaring up. Um, do either of you have interruptions left? I do. I don't have any. How many do you have left? So you both have one, or are you... I have none. You have two? Um, you have none. Okay. So at this point, I will have the two of you uh, roll one more time. Let's see what happens. It's a seven. Eight. Eight. And the eight, the man is able to get his upper hand on the carnival spirit. And Thank finally, you. the carnival spirit hits the floor. And the two remaining people are compatriots. They are also competitors, though. It looks so, like the party's Colonel over. Spirit, I need to out. And the party's never team. over. The Colonel Spirit grabs a cooler that he had under the ring. <laughs> so it's taking out beers. <laughs> and he's just walking back into the ring. locker room, but hey, man, the party's just getting started. Before <laughs> anything else happens, the uh, Red Razor is going to look at Jackie Frost, and he's going to say, victory for one is victory for all. And he's going to jump down off the ring to the floor. <laughs> Jackie Frost becomes the winner. <laughs> what a rumble. He becomes the first king of the North Pole. They come with the crown, uh, and they uh, kind of have to scratch it off and try and write queen in as fast as they can. Uh, they cover your shoulders with a uh, beautiful cape, like mink cape. They give you a, a scepter that's an actual candy cane. Uh, and they give you a check for $20,000 Canadian, which is like 
six hundred and seventy four thousand rubles or something inflation's tough uh you are now the queen of the ring call me thank you all for playing that was a very fun time yay Yay! (laughs) who doesn't like to see communism win communism we are not just right, that's, that's gonna are do it. friends. That's going to do it for this one shot. Thank you all for playing with me. Um, I've been your host. My name is Tyson. You can find me at uh, Internet Places. Um, uh, your boy acronym on Twitter? Yeah, Rest of the People. That's that's pretty much it at the moment. Actually. Uh, rest of the folks, sound off. Who are you and what do you do? Uh, I'll start with Noir. Ah, oh, hey, I'm Noir. You can find me on... Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube as the Noir Enigma. Uh, keep an eye on YouTube uh, because I have quite a bit of content that I need to upload uh, there, including episodes one through three of The Lonely Throne. Um, you can also find me on TikTok, SoundCloud, and Instagram as uh, Noir Enigma. Um, tomorrow, I'm not doing anything because we have the season finale of Song of the Deep. Tuesday, you can catch me over on LFM Network for Degrees of Madness. I believe our guests are still uh, 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 Bree and Chris Hislop, so uh, definitely give them a look. Uh, Wednesday, I have my spy game uh, over on Black Cat Gaming, as well as uh, I'm GMing City of Cats for the Cobalt Press Kickstarter campaign. Thursday, Lonely Throne is taking a break for the holidays. Uh, Friday, I believe Bloody Portrait should also be taking a break for the holidays, and Critical Misses is, uh, is off for the season, so Saturday there is no morning ritual, uh, but if you miss us, check out the VOD from yesterday's uh, season finale. It was amazing. We had Brian Lee Mulligan, and I only cried a little. Man, um, <laughs> friend, it was me. such a joy to talk to. Oh, he was so nice. He's so nice. <laughs> uh, Sim. Yes, hello. Hi, I'm I. I have been Sim, also Ryan. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at the Similacre. Um, I'm kind of in between games at the moment. Um, I, I don't have a whole lot going on, but I do have a thing called Sims Character Creations, wherein I take commissions for short minute, minute and a half, or more uh, musical themes for ca- your original TTRPG characters, or a podcast, or a stream. If you have music you want made i can do that for you uh within reason um and one of the good things about my music is that it's not going to get dmca'd or it shouldn't because it's fucking mine um so if you're worried about that sort of thing and you need an intro feel free to hit me up i have all slots open right now i might even be able to squeeze in something before christmas and the last thing i want to say is i apologize for doing this but I am so proud of uh, Anita and Noir, especially with the whole Brennan Lee Mulligan thing. Just from somebody who's been watching this from the outside for a while now, like, what the fuck, you guys? (laughs) Y'all are doing amazing, and I'm so fucking proud of you. And I I had to do it on air because (laughs) y'all smiles are fucking magic. (laughs) Fuck you, I love you. (laughs) Aw, love you too, Sam. Uh, Nikki. back, buddy. I am Nikki. I am Halfling underscore Nick on Twitter and on Twitch. You'll mostly, on Twitch, you'll mostly only see me in chat. Um, I don't really do a lot of streaming. Um, I am running some tech for Honey, um, Honey's charity stream that she's doing um, this Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So definitely check that out. Um, and I don't really have anything else to share. But I'm really excited. Uh, I've been wanting to play games with Anita and Noir for a really long time. So I am pumped that I finally got Aww. to experience that. Thank you for signing up last and minute. And bully us. me. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just and kidding. congratulations on winning the Queen of the North Pole. I couldn't have done it without Sim. So. <laughs> no, it belo- that, it, that should have been Gun- Gunther Gunhammer's crowd. <laughs> Hey, you know, I'm not happy about it. Uh, <laughs> not, uh, not the first character that you played. No, go you, you take a swig of what his name was. God dare you, Shit. <laughs> Andy Primal, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Uh, it yeah. was the, the machismo, machismo guy, guy. <laughs> Andy Primal. 
took us a while, oh, but we got yep. it. Oh, yup! <laughs> um, that'll bring us down to Sphinx. Ryan, what do you do? Who are you? Um, I'm Ryan, Sphinx Roll and on Twitch, Sphinx Roll on Twitter. Mostly hang out in people's chats and lurk. Sometimes I actually say something in chat. It's true. <laughs> That's how you know that Sphinx likes you, is you actually have the engagement in chat and not the lurk. Literally every stream that I show up in, he is already there. Yeah. <laughs> Even if the stream has amazing. Started, yeah. It's terrifying. <laughs> My my favorite thing about Sphinx is that like he's kind of he doesn't really talk that much, but then when he does say something, it's either very insightful or interesting or really fucking funny. From what I hear, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> this is also true. Uh, <laughs> that's exactly what D just said in chat. Uh, hi, I'm Anita, or Panita, or Critical Misses. You can find me everywhere online under Panita or Critical Misses, because this is me. This is my channel. Um, this is also our last show of the season, uh, before we take a break and come back swinging in the new year with our full schedule, a full seven-day schedule. Uh, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be great. And the, all the details for that are gonna be, uh, posted on our socials and in the Discord, uh, in the Miscord very shortly. So, uh, but in the meantime, if you are missing up on our content, it is all available, um, on our YouTube channel. So you can get caught up on all our shows, including No D6Q, uh, Second City Saviors, um, uh, Now Leaving St. Lemmings, um, all of Morning Ritual. The Vampire one there. seems really yes, cool. Yes, uh, Under the Pale Cold Sun is phenomenal. Uh, I love that show. Um, and now we've, we're going to have even more content, seven days a week. So uh, swing by, check us out, and give us a follow. Um, we would love to see you, and we'd love to have you in chat. So, but yeah, until uh, next time, uh, we ha want to go on a raid? Who's online? Yeah, right I was now? just taking a look. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, you know, if we want to fill the, if Yo. we want to continue with the uh, theme, Brad Cutler is online. Okay. Uh, um, there's also Bright and Jacob Grimmore. Uh, let's let's do something different. Let's raid Brandon Cutler. All right. Hey, from wrestling to wrestling. From hey. wrestling to wrestling. Uh, yeah. So hit him with that. Oh, yeah. don't forget to get those uh, <laughs> hashtag. Oh, yep. <laughs> Uh, so O H uh, capital Y U P in chat. Uh, we will uh, give him a raid. We will spread some love over that direction. <laughs> and uh, is there a sign? Do we have a sign off for this? Was there a sign off that we come up with for this? Uh, not really. Um, I kind of tell people to remain sports entertained, but that's, uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, until next time, we hope. We kept we have kept you uh, sports entertained. Bye everybody. Bye. Oh, God.